Um, the worst part about being a military brat is just having to move a lot. I can just, sometimes I can take a toll on you, but you learn an herbal comment because, you know, you're going to have to move again. <laughs> I've gotten so used to it to the point where I'm constantly moving stuff around my room every six months because I'm so used to moving. Now I have to move stuff around my room to make it look like I'm brand new again. <laughs> Almost to like refresh my life if I move stuff around my room. Trying to make new friends can be difficult depending on the place. Friends I've gotten used to leaving. But a majority of the class had already gone to college and left. Instead of someone PCSing every now and then, it was like everyone's gone all at the same time. It was a little bit of a shock when you wake up and you're like, I have no friends today. But I think family is the hardest to leave. Trying to raise three kids on in a military side is it's interesting because you're trying to make sure they still have those same values that you had grown up with, but at the same time trying to make sure they get to know their family uh, that they don't get to see, but maybe once a year or once every three or four years if you're overseas. They become our best friends when we haven't made friends at school yet. They're always the first person we go and tell our day about because it's them and they understand what we're having to go through and stuff because they're putting us through it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard as a parent to say, yeah, your 19-year-old is ready to, to run out into the world because, especially with her being my first, to say, yeah, take her. It's, it's hard to do that, but uh, I think she's ready. I mean, we've tried to give her everything we can to, to get her ready for it, prepare her for it. So I think it's time for her to give that a shot.